Hello YouTube, this is Wheelchair21, and this is day five of It's a Gundam Week. And on today's mobile suit slash Gundam that we are reviewing, since, yeah, wait, yeah, no, Re redo, redo. Hello YouTube, Wheelchair21, and t today is day six of It's a Gundam Week. And since it is a Gundam or mobile suit that I am reviewing, today's is the mobile suit known as Char's Custom Zagook, which debuted in the late 20 in the mid 20s when the white base went to Jabroro to fix and uh recuperate its stuff because it needed to well one acquire uh new armaments for the white base along with just a place to dock for a short period to give relief to its forces after its major battles that it had recently been raging at sea anyways the Zagok has a limited or has a lot of articulation points of points of articulation in the elbow, the arm, in the shoulder as the arm pops off, the actual claws spin. Actual has hip articulation on ball joints, knee articulation, foot articulation with its thrusters for flight and aquatic capability since it is mostly an aquatic base mobile suit that moves at very high speeds, and since it is more or less a char custom, it actually goes faster than intended, intentionally intended to be made, because it has these aqua, thru aqua jet thrusters and boosters for flight and such. It has waist articulation, which allows it to spin full 360, which is amazing. It has, while in the show, a 360 view, since its eye can actually rotate all the way around. It has this cool laser these are guided uh, things based off of the GOG or whatever that actually can fire off missiles or laser rounds from its head along from these little areas in his hands. And since he can kind of like fire it out like the Namekian arm drag, uh, it actually has open claws as its only accessory. So the easy thing to do is they just pop... Oh my god, this arm just keeps popping off just right. Well, anyways, the easy thing to do is just literally just pull right off they just pull right off if I can get my finger to find the... Alright, boom. They just pull right off, and they have nice little Xeonic tattoos all over and such. Because on this one, you have a logo for Char. And then on the left arm, you have, like, his rank or whatever, like, rank of officer he is, just to notify who's piloting this thing. Um, It's very nice. I really love this toy as a kid. I still continue to love it. I love the inside joke that people like to use it as... um. Common Rider Incisor or Scissors is a uh, contract beast when they do Ryu Ryuki photos. So it's a really, really great figurine. Uh, nice articulation. Stays pretty well developed, or at least stayed well together. Its quality control is really nice. Um, this figure was rare to find back in the day. I mean, you could find the blue one, but not the red one, because everyone loves Char so much. Um, it's a shame that a lot of Char's um, mobile suits are only seen for like three to five episodes before being replaced by a brand new one. And you kind of wish that they would stay a little bit longer in the show. But I guess it's supposed to be like the advancement of militaristic areas. Like, you go from being in regular space combat to aquatic combat to back to being on ground and space when you go from like the Zaku, the Ga Zagok, to the Gelgoog. And I, I really got to say it. Putting all of, like, the Char's uh, mobile suits that I own, which is just these two, sadly, from the original Universal Century uh, original, like, season, I really do like the different shades of reds he likes to use to, like, dark reds to pinks and such. And it's a really cool contrast of character that Char has with his reds and such. Um, I really wish there were probably, like, MSIAs of Johnny Ridden released in America. They probably were, but... I, I also like his customs because he throws a lot of black and darker shades of red since he likes using the term of crimson. Um, all in all, I really hope to get high grades of these as soon as possible and such because I really want to at least build model kits, but I don't want to take the time to like waste money on getting the huge ones and only building taking two days to just build, like say, one or two of them. And such, so I want to have, like, more than just one and have, like, at least repetitiveness of building, like, say, 
maybe 20 zo- regular Zakus or something within, like, eight hours of, like, just building time. I don't know, instead of just wasting two days to make one giant scaled one. Uh, as for now, this has been It's a Gundam Week, MSIA, Universal Century uh, Week as well. This has been Char Zaguk. And uh, you can check me out on Tokyo Anime News, Broken Infinite, Raijo Nihon, and coming soon, or already active, Hirotaku. You can also find follow us on Twitter and find us on Facebook. As for now, I'll see you next time. And going on to day six, which will be about Rambo Rawls, goof with Dodia YS formation ship. <laughs>